Greetings, dear viewers. Welcome. Today, I have a poem about a player named as Johannes Zuckertot. And the name of the poem is Multi-Talented Zuckertot. And as the name is very clearly giving out what the poem is all about, we are going to be discussing a little bit about the talents of this great player, Johannes Zuckertot. Not just his chess ability, but his other abilities as well. Now, first, let me very quickly uh, talk about his chess ability and what he has accomplished in chess. Zuckertot was a contender to the throne, uh, to the world championship throne, and uh, he lost on both occasions to William Steinitz. Uh, there is a very famous opening called as Reti opening right now, uh, which is, uh, of course, quite common uh, even at the top level chess, which starts with one knight to f3. But it was called as Zukutot opening prior to being called as Reti opening because Zukutot used to employ it quite often. He used to play knight f3 and he also used to move you know, one c4 as well. Uh, trying to go for close positions. But nevertheless, Zukatot was also famous for his combinative ability, which William Steinitz had also praised. That is a little bit about his chess ability. But the major uh, and quite interesting ability with this related to chess was his blindfold chess ability. Zukatot was uh, once played around close to 16 people uh, uh, in a blindfolded display, which is quite, quite incredible feat. And um, he was famous for that. Now, this is giving us an insight into what kind of a talent he was. But let me just take you through his other talents as well. Now, Zuckertot had completed his MD and he had also uh, not taken up uh, a practice of uh, medicine because he wanted to go into chess. So that itself is a great indication into the potential he was. And there are a lot of interesting details in his biography as well that he was also uh, a soldier uh, he was into music, he was also kind of a musician, he was into political activity and of course he was a great author as well, who has authored two books. So man, uh, Zuckertot is not a common man, he is, he is quite phenomenal in the sense that he has all these abilities and um, we need to appreciate that. So that is the reason I just um, felt that it would be nice uh, to write uh, as a kind of a tribute to uh, a player uh, uh, such as a caliber of Zuckertot because we tend to know a lot about the world champions of the game but it is also important to know about the contenders and how great they actually were as well. Uh, language ability, I missed out the language ability which I want to just tell uh, in terms of language his linguistic abilities was quite sensational in the sense that Zuckertot was uh, able to speak close to nine languages and some say that it was also extended to a dozen language and uh, which is quite incredible considering that uh, at that time the resources to learn uh, anything uh, let alone language was quite less so uh, the man was uh, incredibly and supremely talented so let's get into the poem uh, then now that you understood a little bit about his chess and his other abilities the poem is going to be quite easy for you to understand so let us dive into the poem and this is uh, knight, F, knight to f3, the first move that I told, uh, one knight f3, which was called as Zuckertot opening prior to being called as the Reti opening. Now on with the poem. A pupil of the great Adolf Anderson was a master of blindfold chess. Playing 16 players blindfolded may make anyone dumbfounded. Zuckertot was a man of some courage, setting some example at that age. He gave up his medical practice to become Kaisa's apprentice. A sneak peek into his coveted armory revealed his extraordinary memory, aiding his chess activities and his linguistic abilities. Stressing on the positional play and semi-closed game by favoring the closed knight to f3 and c4, is an insight into his positional diet and preference of the quiet. A two-time contender to the throne, a man who was quite well known. With your talent and feats, dear Zuckertot, there is always room in our hearts. I hope you like the poem. Uh, the full poem, as usual, is in the description. And thank you very much for your time. 